DC. We the ISBK, Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, started out of One West, Hall of New York at the Command of Jimmy Hart. And since 1969, we've been teaching the truth of the Bible, that the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true ethnic Jews of the Bible. And that our oppressors, the colonizers, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. We do not affiliate with any other Israelite group or Christian organization. Give me, give me Revelation 18 and 4. And we're going to bring out today to show you who our enemy is. Point them out. Show you reasons why we should not follow him. Why we should not take on his way. Take on his spirit. The spirit of this wicked country. This wicked country that rules the world. Scripture say that the hand, the wicked is, is inherit the world. And we all know who inherited the world. Who rules the world. You got that? Go ahead. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. And this is John the Revelator saying he heard another voice, an angel screaming out of heaven, saying, Come out of her. The heart, the heart is America, the heart, the whore that sits on many walls, that has every other nation trying to get in bed with her, that takes on the spirit of this country right here. This country goes and conquers every nation and brings its spirit. Got homosexuality everywhere, the alphabet community everywhere. Want you to eat them, eat the pork. The law say all of these things are wrong. This is the spirit of, of, of a place that I have you dead in the streets and don't care. Then go shoot your grocery store up. And then the next week, they got something else on the news like it never even matter. The scriptures say come out of her. That means you don't celebrate the, the stinking holidays, the pagan holidays in this country. The pagan, the whole spirit of all the holidays is pagan. You're not even worshiping God. They tell you that you, you work, you're worshiping the rise of Jesus on Easter. Easter has nothing to do with Christ. Right. Christ wasn't born on Christmas. You decorate the Christmas tree, the law said that the customs, those customs are vain. Right. That means of nothing. The scripture says come up out of her. And it's a reason why the scripture says to come up out of her. Keep going. Now God, that ye be not partakers of her sin. That you be not partakers in her alphabet community. That you be not partakers in the drugs that she puts on the neighborhood and legalizes because she knows she's going to make a profit off of you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. Right. Then they're going to sit back and label you the criminal. Label you the, you the drug addict. Well, we both know, we all know that our press is the biggest drug dealer ever in the history of the world. Nancy Reagan, the true drug queen. Ronald Reagan bringing that thing over Trump and right in your neighborhood. Right in your neighborhood. Some of you drug addicts, you, have a, you already even heard the term, get wasted like our oppressor. Why? Because he got multiple ways and big ways to get wasted. This is the spirit of a people. This is the spirit of these people. They murder you in the streets. They put their religion on you. This Bible right here has nothing to do with Christianity. Christianity is the spirit of her that it's talking about. Christianity is the same religion that I have you hold hands with the people who killed you. Tell you to love everybody. It don't say that God love everybody in this book. They actually cause them our enemies. That's right. The colonizer, the slave master. This Bible calls black man, Latino man, Native American man. This Bible calls them your enemy. We're going to pull that out later. But right now the scripture is saying, come out of her. Come out of the spirit of her. Don't celebrate her holidays. The Lord don't like it. That's why we're on the bottom today. Because the Lord is our father. Right. You don't do what your father told, told you to do. He's going to punish you. And that's why we're on the body today, black man, Latino man, Native American man. These are reasons that we should not follow after our oppressor. He's going to sell you the drugs, put them in your neighborhood, then lock you up for them. 
calling the war on drugs after he'd have dropped it in the neighborhood. This is the spirit of this country right here. I can go. Come, come. And that ye let receive not of her play. That you don't do catch high blood pressure from eating the pork that he say you can eat. The shrimp crab and lobster. That he say you can eat with the law say you can't eat that. The law said that. We too busy following what our oppressor said because America does it. America got it all on the TV. You gonna ignore what the law said? No. Which these are reasons why you shouldn't follow him because the Lord told you that you're gonna fall under the plagues of the sins that you commit. They got a new, they got a new, uh, it's not even new. The Lord that brought the monkey pox back out. The monkey pox. Now it's falling on mainly the alphabet community. The Lord said, man shall not lie with man as he lie with woman. And save for the woman. If there, there are consequences behind these things. It say that is an abomination and you should die by your blood. You ever heard of AIDS? That's dying by your blood. The monkey pox. You smoke. You out here smoking, getting high every day. You're going to die by cancer. They say monkey pox is spread by man on man sex. Now, that's, that's dying and catching the plagues of her sins. It said come up out of her. Don't follow her sins because you're going to catch what she going to catch. You're going to catch the monkey pox. You're going to get cancer. You'll get high blood pressure from eating that swine. And all of this, the Christian church is not against it. The Christian church will let you come in there with all, the, all of your alphabet ways and you'll be the, you'll be the choir director. Right. You're going to be the choir director. You're going to be a high, have a high position in the church with that, with that ailment that you have. That it was just taken off of the, off of the uh, mental illness Mental illness column, like uh, about 20, 30 years ago. At one point, it was a mental illness to have to be a homosexual. Now, all of a sudden, they got it on every billboard. Disney, do you know Disney? They got a secret meeting that's on, on YouTube now, where Disney said they're about to make 85% of all their lead characters to children's cartoons gay. Right. Now, they talk about that. These people are born, you born like that. It sounded to me like they pushing it on you. Why is it such a rapid rate? It wasn't such a rapid rate at first. It sounded like that's what they said. Come out of her so you won't catch the plagues of her sins. You got any more on that? I'm come. Drop that. Give me Ezekiel. Ezekiel 34 and 8. The Lord, the Lord has a special people. The Lord does show favoritism. The Lord said he has a holy people. Holy in, holy in the Hebrew means it's the word Kadash. Kadash means set apart. The Lord said if you are, his holy people are set apart from everybody else. The Lord never meant for us to be in this new age Babylon where everybody lives with everybody. And Martin Luther King, I have a dream, hold hands with our oppressor and take on his way. When, we, when he said that, when we took on their ways, and we held hands with our oppressor, guess what? We just handed over all the keys to everything we had. Now we have nothing, and we on the bottom. Our HBCUs, we ain't had one since then. All our black businesses, you got to say, buy black, buy black. Why? Because we ain't got no more black business. We used to have enough. We had our own schools. We had our own schools. Now they, they, now they control our schools so much, they telling you, you can't even tell, they you can't even teach about what they did to our ancestors. They you can't even do it. Because they say it's divisive. You got that? We need to, these are reasons why we should come out of her and we should not follow after our oppressor, our, the, the slave master, who killed 77 million Indians and broke every last treaty that he had with him. He doesn't even live up to his word. 99 million 
slaves he killed. But ask him today, is he willing to apologize for that? No, he not willing to apologize, but he lives off the benefits of it. Talking about, oh, I never had no slaves. I never killed nobody. But you reap the benefit of your, your, your forefathers murdering the stealing and deception. That's why we call him the oppressor, the devil. Devil means deceiver. The biggest deceiver on planet Earth is our oppressor. You got that? Go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 8. As I live, saith the Lord, surely because my flock become a prey, the Lord caused a certain people his flock. That, that you know the Lord right there has a special people. And he's saying right there, we are a prey. We are a prey to every other nation. He goes, oh God. And my flock became meat to every beast of the field. To every beast of the field. If everybody always wondering what the beast is, the mark of the beast, it's saying here that we are his flock, but we're not sheep. And he said we, we have been devoured, it became meat for every beast. That lets you know that every if you God got a special people, then every other people is the beast. And he's saying here that his, his special people, that God does have favoritism. God does have a special people. You got to favor everything. Why can't God? Don't be a hypocrite. You got to favor everything. And he's calling everybody else the beast. So if God's calling them the beast, you should take warning. An antelope doesn't try to hold hands with a lion. No. You don't hold hands with the predator that's killing you every day. Drop that. Give me uh, Hosea 4 and 6. When you try to hold hands, you're taking on this philosophy. And everything you're talking about, you take it like it's, like it's God's word. If an oppressor was up here right now talking, you would believe everything he's saying. Like he knows what he's talking about, like he's smart. The smartest people in the world are black. Latino and Native American. It's already been proven. The best people in the world. We, we're the best at everything. Name something we that they bet anybody's better than. I don't see no African Michael Jacksons. I don't see no African Mike Tyson's. No, I don't see too many to me anything. We got women, the, the women, black women sitting there oppressing to the moon. You couldn't get up there without us. We the smartest and the best at everything. You got that? This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. For lack of knowledge, for lack of knowledge, like you got this big giant castle of a church in your neighborhood, when the, the neighborhood is desolate, boards on the window, everybody poor, but you got a giant church, a castle on the corner, and they making millions of dollars. We giving them all our money while we ain't got nothing. Right. But it's they, they got a castle on the corner asking for money from you and they don't give nothing back. It's obvious because the neighborhood that they in, the neighborhood that they in looks like it's condemned. Guess it. Ain't nobody in there. You got you got all types of drugs going on. You got all types of child molestation, crime, shootings on the corner. Does, does the church do anything? No, but they gonna keep that money for that giant castle. They gonna pay that rent for that giant castle on your corner. We ain't destroyed for a lack of knowledge to not even see that. Lack of knowledge. Not the knowledge that you get in a, a college, a, a, a degree. Talk about the, the knowledge that's in this Bible right here. That tells you who your enemy is. That tells you what to do. And come up out, come out of that and not to follow them. That, the, the knowledge that this is your culture, black man, Latino, Native American man. It's a whole culture in here that we follow. We, it, it's ours. The Lord, our Father, gave to us. He didn't give the law or no culture to no other nation in the entire world. That's again telling you that the Lord favors us. And we should come back to our Father. Like I said before, the Christianity and the Bible have nothing to do with each other. Right. Christianity tells fairy tales. That's why you don't believe in this book now. Right. Book sitting on, on your grandmother's table, on your mother's table for years, and you, you, you never picked it up and actually read. Why? 
because of the lies that the Christian church tells them. You got any more on that? No. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And see, the Lord's tell our Father is saying, because we don't follow the, what he's saying in this, everything he told us to do, he will reject us. So you wonder why your prayers don't get answered. Because you're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. The Lord has called on you many a times in your life. The Lord is calling on you right now. With the priests and prophets in the eyes, you became right now talking to you. You don't hear the Lord calling you. You don't heard the Lord calling you at, at some time in your life, multiple times in your life. And when you don't answer, the Lord said what? Yep. I will reject, I will reject me. He will also reject you if you reject what he said. King of oh God, that thou shalt be no priest to me. And we shall not be a special nation of priests to him. You know black man, Latino man, Native American man, God made it so that you are all priests of the Lord. Right. Ain't no other nation supposed to be teaching out of this book. It's our book. You see the oppressor all day on the, on the TV teaching our, our records. In this book right here, our oppressor dies at the end. Right. In this movie right here, if you could put this as a movie, and actually put what's in here, in on the screen, our oppressor dies at the end of this movie right here. Right. It's not his book. He's not supposed to be teaching on it. Thank you, sister. Get me. You got any more on that? Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Christian church tell you not to obey the law, that you're not under the law no more. But I bet you they can't tell you what's the difference between a law and a commandment. The law they say you ain't have to follow the commandments. Commandments is what he said to do and what he said not to do. Right. The law is the punishment for it. Right. So the law is not going to strike you down right now. A Levitical priest don't come and kill you right now, but he did say you must follow what he said to do. Right. You know what happens? You know that when you go ahead and sin, because sin is the transgression of the law if you didn't know it's in this Bible. You see, this is that lack of knowledge I'm telling you. Ask your pastor if there's sin. If he, if he say yeah, ask him what sin is. Sin is the transgression of the law. And when you transgress the law, he saying you ain't under the law. But don't you die from cigarettes by cancer? Don't you catch AIDS if you lie with, you lie with another man and you're a man? Don't you get high blood pressure when you eat these foods? Don't if you kill somebody, don't you get killed back? With the gun or, or sword the way you did it? That's, that's the law still passing judgment. These are reasons that you should come back to the law and should stop following our oppressors because the Lord is talking to you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. And he said that you must follow what he say or he's going to not listen to you. When you in your time of need, you wonder why the Lord ain't hollering at you because you ain't listening to the Lord. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and the south Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 one body, one face, one lord yeah. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword okay. 144,000 men on one accord uh. Not being in this army is something you can't afford oh, Three yeah. niggas across the board, ain't no suckers round us uh. You was looking for the truth, but well, that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up yeah. We got the order from the king, round the troops up yeah. Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing uh. strong like a man in our camp, it ain't no cowards no. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the song Rather die like a man, man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die 